Good afternoon, everybody. This is Big Boy Sports, and you already know what time it is. It's another week of indoor football. We have a lot of things to cover really quick um, before I get back down to business. It's work real quick. So, first things first is something that broke today, which is the CIF will be expanding to Topeka, Kansas. And that is the fourth team in Kansas. And CIF right now, as where it stands right now, is at 12 teams, which is the number I predicted that it will be at for 2022. And there will be at least, we know from Topeka's um, first release from a new site in Topeka that there will be 12 games for the CIF once again instead of the weird 10 game schedule that they had, and that there will be at least two postseason games and Topeka really hasn't had a lot of history with indoor football they have had some teams but they haven't really lasted that long um, but this is an exciting time this is an interesting time this is the area where the IFL actually needs to be expanding to instead of trying to go full east coast they need to stay you know west of the Mississippi River and or, yeah west of the Mississippi River I almost almost got my directions wrong but you know see I have to doing what they need to do because I mean Wyoming got such good reception they were constantly drawing fans into that arena out there in Gillette and you know things just went well it it worked for the Wyoming Mustangs because there was nobody there in Wyoming <laughs> nobody lives in Wyoming so obviously you get 4,000 people come out there each and every week to Wyoming and maybe, you know, Billings, Montana soon, and also Colorado, the Colorado Stampede, they'll be announcing that they'll be joining the CIF in a couple of days, actually, um, as we all know. Second thing on the docket here is that the IFL has confirmed that the Arizona Rattlers will be hosting a playoff game on Sunday, August the 29th. There is nothing on that day for me, so I will be, you know, watching that game hopefully you know things kind of get balanced out hopefully more Sunday games are added for that first week of the playoffs there will be eight teams we don't know who that fourth team will be hosting that playoff game just yet that will be determined in the last two weeks of the season um, speaking of which we got to talk about the Naz Wranglers they really only scored 11 points yesterday what a disappointing performance had players ejected, which is, you know, just normal, you know, just normal shenanigans in this game. And, I mean, they they had they had 11 points. I mean, what can you say about that? That's just kind of pathetic in this, in this type of, you know, game. Pretty, pretty bad. You don't, you don't just score 11 points. You don't, you don't, you don't stoop yourself that low like that. Um... So yeah, Frisco, Massachusetts, and the Arizona Rattlers will be hosting playoff games. We don't know again. We don't know who that fourth team will be. We don't know who that eighth and final team will be. We're still trying to get who the fourth through eight seeds are in the log jam right now. From you know, there's six teams battling for five spots. So it's gonna get interesting. I don't think. Of course, obviously. The Nats Wranglers aren't making it anywhere, and Tucson's not making it anywhere either. But Duke City is gaining ground. You know, Sioux Falls is kind of coming back into the fold. Iowa's also kind of coming back into the fold of things. And Green Bay's kind of slipping a little bit. But, you know, things are going to be fine in the IFL. Final two weeks of the season going to be very fun. going to be very, very interesting to see how things go. To the NAL... We obviously got the championship game we all expected, which was the Columbus Lions easily taking care of the Orlando Predators and the Albany Empire taking care of the Carolina Cobras. Thus, these two teams, the Lions and the Empire, will meet in the Times Union Center at 6 o'clock Saturday night. And it's for the NAL title. Can Columbus finally get an NAL title? Because remember, Last two times they went to the title game, things didn't go too well. They got beat up by Carolina um, in 2018. They got 
and they had a close, close game with the Sharks, but couldn't pull it out in the end. 2017, so this may be the time, but it may be the Grady time. It may be Tommy Grady and Darius Prince and all those guys out there in, in that Empire, you know, <laughs> well, in that Empire locker room getting ready to hoist their second title in three years in two different leagues. So, you never know what could happen there. As far as some other stuff from the other leagues, um, I do have some AWFC stuff. So, for the first time, I do have something about the AWFC. Tri-City just has to win their game. And, you know, they will host the championship. And remember, the AWFC did it a little weird. It's three teams for the playoffs. And the Oregon... High Desert Storm, they are, they're doing some interesting stuff, they are pretty, pretty, you know, making, you know, making it seem pretty good. Um, the Horsemen actually have to win by 54 points to be able to host the AWFC Championship game. I don't think that's going to happen, and Tri-City might have to just be able to host this championship. I, I don't. I don't really know what's going on completely in the AWFC, but there is a big expert in the Discord, in the 50 yard shit posting Discord, by the way, that you can join. Um, I don't have the link for that because I, I don't invite people to Discord because I'm still new to Discord myself. Um, but yeah, AWFC looking very, very interesting there. Um, the championship will be, I don't know when it will be, but I assume it will be sometime in. Late August, September, around that time. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know what in the world's going on really. Um, there there is a guy that is a lot better at talking about the AWFC than I am. Next up on the docket is the well, it's our old friends, the San Antonio Baller. Their um, their owner, yeah, he's um he's in some legal trouble. For a wide variety of reasons, talk about theft of service and seven other charges as well. Could be facing up to ten years in prison. So what does that mean for the San Antonio Valor? Well, they were a travel team this year and couldn't, you know, pay their players. Couldn't do anything really at all competently. So I think they're going to die really quick. Thus, that will get that stain out of San Antonio. You know. Get that valor, get the valor name out of that, you know, out of there, you know. So, and I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy stuff, you know. On um, the Universal Football League is still a thing. Uh, oh wait, not the Universal Football League, the Universal Arena League. I think there's going to be teams. You know, there is going to be teams in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. I think I talked about this already, just in case, you know, the Texas football scene, there have been some people complaining, you know, where are teams in Texas? There are teams in Texas in, you know, two of the three major indoor leagues at this time. You know, obviously the Frisco Fighters and the IFL, my Frisco Fighters, and of course, you know, West Texas and Amarillo out in the CIF, so there have been people complaining about that. Of course, there was also the Texas... Arena Alliance League or something like that. I forgot what it actually stands for, but that's like a bunch of teams that just aren't run competently enough. You know, so it is what it is there. Um, but the last thing on the docket here is that the Arena Football League has some trademarks, in fact. In fact, it's those San Jose Sabercats, those same San Jose Sabercat guys, you know, that tried to revive it, I believe, at one point some time ago, I don't remember when, but you know, San Jose guys have the money to do so. I think they want they think they want arena football back in San Jose. Of course, we know the Oakland Panthers will be moving to San Jose. But um, there is a little bit of a tricky thing going on here is that they have some trademarks. It's out in Florida. There's a legal document out um, that basically says that the Arena Football League has some assets like the Los Angeles Avengers 
and some other different trademarks, but the confusing thing here is that they have the Albany Empire trademark, which was actually bought by the NAL. So that doesn't make any sense there. Um, I don't... It's, it's something. It's something leading to more about the... about Arena Football League coming back, about the Arena Football League coming back in 2023, like I, you know, had said, and like several others have said, you know, a couple months ago, so I don't know how that's going to fare, and it's going to be interesting to see how that goes, you know, in the future, but we'll get to that road when we get to that road. So with that being said, everybody, hope you all enjoyed this week. Um, we have a championship game, obviously, and we have two weeks of IFL football left, championship game in the AL, that is. And it's going to be very, very exciting. I cannot wait another week. We got it all weekend long. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. So, strap up. It's time to get it in. Let's go. Let's do this. I'll see y'all in the next video very, very soon.